With three new movies released this week to close out summer, only one managed to crack the top three, and the top performers are a few weeks old. Oh. Yeah. Marvel's second string superhero star in Guardians of the Galaxy, which was number one at the box office, bringing in an estimated 17 million and boasting a 92% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Which would be great if it didn't come out three weeks ago. But another solid weekend for Chris Pratt and company makes Guardians of the Galaxy the number one movie this summer. <laughs> Even beating Michael Bay's latest Transformers film, which got awful reviews, but does have Optimus Prime riding a motorized T-Rex working in its favor. Speaking of Michael Bay, the next biggest film this weekend proves nostalgia is a profitable emotion. Remember that thing you used to say when we were kids? I've been holding it in for years. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is number two at the box office, bringing in an estimated $16.8 million, all while carrying a dismal 20% approval rating. But what 90s kid doesn't love TMNT? Coming in last on the list is the only new movie that managed to make a decent debut. Am I dying? Is that what this is? If I Stay is number three at the box office, falling just shy of second place with 16.3 million and a 41% approval rating. So, it's not that bad? This movie's biggest problem seems to be that it reminds people of another recent film. You've seen this movie before, so you're better off going back to see The Fault in Our Stars. Trying to springboard off the success of a much better movie. This movie should be called The Faulted Stars of Ours. Check back next week for the box office top three. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrews. See you next time.